injuries. You need something? What, I want to see the doctor. I need to speak to him. I'm going to make my chain. So my chain's not tight at all, but when you turn this chain, you see these little ridges here. That's where I like to put my stitch in. So you don't count the loop on the hook, that doesn't count. You skip this one, and you go into the second chain, right into the back part of the loop, pull it up, and complete your stitch. I'm going to do the same thing. Complete your stitch. Back of the loop. And complete your stitch. Back of the loop. And complete your stitch. Back of the loop. Make sure you only get that back loop. Sometimes the other... If you got yarn that splits, it has a tendency to want to bring up the other half of the yarn that you don't want to bring up. And then back of the loop. Finish your stitch. Back of the loop. Finish your stitch. I'm sorry. And then there, back of the stitch, this little ugly little ridge, finish your stitch, finish your stitch. Alright, so now I'm at the end of that row, and you can see it's nice and stretchy, it's not a tight stitch, because then it does, does kind of like a, a locking stitch if you do it the other way, in the regular loop. So now I'm going to chain... Because I'm doing single crochet, I'm only going to chain one, turn my work, and then just crochet right in the first stitch. That chain there doesn't count. And then you just go in between the stitches and you just keep going all the way to the end of the row. See, now the back ridge doesn't matter in this because now you're just going underneath your uh, V's that you made. And then when you get to the end, you'll, you'll see your V that you made here. You just got to make sure you get underneath those little... So that way you're... See? So now we did that second row. But now if you look at this side, this is our, the start and the bottom. Now it's got the nice V on it. That's what you want it to do. Because you want it to match this side. So say if this was the end, then now both sides are V's and it's not, it stretches. It's not, you know, weird looking and locked. And then that's what you do. You would just chain one again. Turn your work. And continue. Unless your pattern tells you to do something else. Well, if you're just making a scarf or something and you want to do single crochets, you would just do this all the way across and keep doing that for whatever length you want. And that's pretty much that.